morning. We're going to talk about tying it all together today. Tying it all together. And that's a big, well, you can say knot, but we're not going to make a knot. We're going to tie a lot of information together in formation so we can start to learn discretion and then in time we can actually get some knowledge and when we practice the knowledge then we can well wind up getting what we call wisdom so tying it all together is very I guess you call it esoteric because really what is your purpose our purpose from the life that we've been given what is our true purpose wouldn't you like to really find out I've been putting together health and wellness videos for 10 years or so but I've been studying health and wellness and practicing one-on-one -on -one with patients over a hundred thousand office visits just to be able to get to the certain layer that that there are many alternatives and variables in health and wellness and I'm not saying one's better than the other but there is choices that you'll have to make remember I would be very weary on following anybody including myself unless they practice what they preach they practice what they preach just be careful that remember it's really hard for us as long as our eyes realize a truth that information if it's got experiential wisdom you'll be able to see it you'll be able to hear it so I'm gonna to introduce to you if you've never heard of of what I call the antidote to sickness and that's called terrain modification this is 35 years of deep research and experimentation to be able to well share with people 35 years later uh, ideas, concepts, disciplines in regards with health and wellness and advancing your awareness. Advancing your awareness. Remember, we have to really look and see, you know, and understand that there are other layers of purpose within our carnation. But in order for us to really, really be able to see that, we have to, we have to get a new life. And what I found out, again, over 35 years, is not to treat symptoms but to terrain modify everything question everything and navigate from there use your critical thinking do your homework as I say okay try to pay attention to those that don't really have an agenda and many people have an agenda and you know my agenda is for you to to take care of yourself and start to teach yourself teach yourself okay how to repair the body how to detox the body how to maintain the body how to how to reset the mind these are priceless ideas they are you just don't know it right now is because remember we're all in a radio station that's different from one another we call that reality so once we find out that everybody's on a different reality everybody's on a different radio station is because everybody's got a different layer of variables toxicity how much liquid you put in your body how much Sun you get are you eating GMOs are you drinking blood and eating flesh are you practicing any exercise are you doing any yoga are you playing any instruments of music are you being creative at all these are all parts of the what I call human variable and it's very smart you'll see in the future once you follow the terrain modification protocols and you're going to do three things enhance upgrade and optimize what's wrong with that again i always say ask your mom ask your dad ask your doctor ask your wife your husband if you are able to practice health and wealth okay health and wealth wealth is not money but it's information so terrain modification has about 50 different departments and growing all the time but I try to keep the departments as as smart as we can 
okay, easy as we can to get people so they can engage. And once you do a few of them and find out that these were life changing, you bet you're going to go ahead and look into it deeper and deeper and deeper. So you could be your own experiment upon yourself and and share your transformation with everyone else. Remember, upgrade, enhance, and optimize yourself. If you want to find not only your purpose in life, you have to clean the body. Okay, follow the skin cleaning protocols. Very easy to do. And once you do, remember, you're going to wipe off billions of passengers. I've said this hundreds of times, but for some reason, there's a lot of new people coming to see our videos. So if you're not new, well, then guess what? You should be a part of the Earther Academy digital school. It's a not open to the public school. I use and share a lot of the protocols, practices, and principles, advanced, cutting edge, okay, information other than YouTube. You can start with YouTube, nothing wrong with that. Then once you get serious, you come to Earther Academy and learn the different protocols, practices, and principles that I've experimented with myself and tens of thousands of people around the world. You're not the first ones to do this, people. Okay, so again, you should ask yourself, what are you going to do when you get sick? What are you going to do? And most likely, you're already sick. You just don't feel sick enough not to go to work. But then again, like I always say again, too, take your clothes off and look in the mirror and check and see if you have the sickness. Check and see if you have inflammation, and that's body fat. Toxicity, that's body fat. Look and see if your lymph system is clogged, your skin. Everything basically doesn't look healthy. Okay, give yourself an examination for moles and bumps and just age in general. Okay, remember it's your own physical examination and what do you do? You're the sculpture, er, and your body's like clay, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna be creative. Remember, part about actually finding ourselves is to become creative with ourselves and really learn how to take care of ourselves and honor ourselves. Honor. Self-responsibility, remember, is the first step to honoring yourself. Just remember that. Self-responsibility is the first step to honoring thyself. Okay, so if you knew that your body was an instrument of interdimensional capabilities, the most complex organism that basically you will ever, ever know is because it's you, is this machine. Remember, it is self-organizing. It fixes itself. It does everything for itself. Give it what it needs and take away what it doesn't, and all of a sudden, magic starts to happen. Okay, so once we learn that there are many different, well, you can call them protocols, practices, and principles that aren't really optimal in our lifestyles, what are we going to do? We're going to enhance, upgrade, and optimize our ways. Clean it up. Again, if this doesn't make sense to you guys, I don't know what is. Okay, remember, engage. Engage. What does it take for you to be able to be able to start the terrain modification program? What does it take? Okay, all I know is there's more players right now that want to stay healthy. There's more players right now that want to teach what they've learned. More players than I've ever seen. So bravo, because let me tell you, a while ago I was getting very frustrated and depressed. Why? Because there wasn't enough players that wanted to really want to find their true potential. Their true potential. And remember, you are an earth human. And an earth human has a variable oscillator as we could call for consciousness and a variable oscillator is what we can call for our bodies okay they can become lots of different things just like a car uh, has many different purposes and a truck is different than a Volkswagen and a Volkswagen is different than a Porsche even though they're made by the same company bodies and minds are all different and everybody's unique in their own way so let's see Let's see. I'm curious to see what happens when you really start honoring yourself, self-responsibility, and really cleaning up the body. Remember, the body is known as your holy land. It's been gifted to you. It's been gifted to me. We live on the heart chakra, the heart plane. It's called the green plane. Most of us do not live on this plane because where we live, it's not green. 
but you'll find out where life is, that's the green plane. And we do have choices to make where we want to be connected in the green plane. Okay, this is a big lecture that we just did. The heart, okay, is the heart is right here. It's green in the chakra layers. Okay, we live on the green plane and the earth is an anagram, an anagram for the heart. Okay, so if you're not feeling well, it's only because you're not following the rules on the heart plane. And if you look in the mirror and you see that what you see is not what you like, then remember, you're the star and producer of your own film. You are the, the director, okay, producer and the star. You are the sculptor of the clay. So be smart. Know that it has been done before and you're not the first to do it. It's really simple. Would, wouldn't it be exciting for you to be able to, if you felt like your life was not really where it's supposed to be or you feel, well, really not excited anymore like you used to be when everything was new when you were a kid? When you learn terrain modification, I guarantee you that you will find yourself more than what you have is because you're gonna retune many of the departments if you can, when you can, okay? And as you learn the sun protocols, as you learn the how to take care of your genitals protocols, yes you do, how to, to remineralize the body, okay? How do we do that when it's demineralized? How do we change our suboptimal diets to a optimal diet. Let me give you some ideas. They're just ideas. And do your own homework. All I know is that I'm here to help you do the best and easiest thing you can do to regain back your health. And then from there, you figure it out yourself. But at least these guidelines will get you kick-started to get to the next layer. Kick-started. So if that's the truth, Again, what are you waiting for? Most people think that that's not something they can do. Remember, we just had several people that have lost 100 pounds of body fat and they were 350, 330 pounds each. This is a person with courage, okay? A courage to be able to, to remold their body, to detoxify the system, to be able to lose the emotional baggage, the mental beliefs, and remold the, the clay. Take, take power back to you being the producer and the director and the star of your film. Taking back your power means that you have to have courage. And it also means that most likely you didn't like yourself too much if you could gain 100 pounds. Let me tell you, okay? I've been studying the mind all my life. And why we do what we do a lot of the times is because we have parasites inside our bodies controlling our minds. We have many videos sharing with you these, these real and profound phenomena, mind controlling parasites, not only physical, but ethereally, mind controlling parasites. If you don't think it's real, again, do your homework, do your research. And of course, the genius power part about these parasites is they're seamless. Seamless means you will never know you have them. Never. You'll never know you have them. Why? Because that's what parasites are. They're like, like Klingon starship vessels, okay, on cloak, okay, Romulan, Romulan vessels. In Star Trek, on cloak, you can't see them. Okay, until they uncloak themselves, until you detoxify yourself and quit feeding them. And that means not feeding them blood, not feeding them sugar, not feeding them processed foods, and or feeding them real foods and mineralized foods and doing the protocols. Then you will start to see the light, as they say, because darkness inside the body and mind will not be fed any longer. Okay, your shutters will start to open up and more light will come in to say, aha, aha. And if you don't get ahas, it just means that you need to do some fasting. You should get a lot of epiphanies, epiphanies called aha. And all of a sudden, it's just your own 
epiphany. It's it's your own inside joke. Uh huh. And you really can't explain it to everybody because everybody remembers on a different radio station. They're on a different reality, real reality. Is it real or is it Memorex? Well, most of us follow the system. So, you know, if you want a real life, then you may want to follow some of those that have sort of pulled their way from away from the herd instead of the ones that are trying to keep you in the herd. And again, do as you wish. I'm not attached. I'm only talking with the ones who elect to see a truth. And the only way you're going to be able to see this truth is to dry your body out of the parasitic creatures that you don't even know you have. Again, take your clothes off, look in the mirror. It's your own deal. I lost 40 pounds of baggage, 40 pounds of creatures, 40 pounds of toxicity, 40 pounds of emotional baggage and mental dysfunction. Am I born again? About 14 times since my initial, what I call cleansings. And my friend Mark Daniels, we've been doing this all along since we were about, well, 20 years old. I've known Mark. And, and you need a companion. And I'm talking a companion that you could go ahead and actually do terrain modification with and, and work with each other back and forth. Remember, there's physical protocols. There are mental protocols to learn. Okay, we laughed, laughed our arses off. They're reading books at the same time and underlining things to be able to get the ahas and the epiphanies. Okay? It does take time to wake up. It does. Okay, and wake up to what? Possibly a lot of things that may not make sense to your mind. So if you clean your body, you'll have space to be able to maybe present new information because if you're cleaner in the body with less parasite poop floating around in your body, then you're going to have more discretion, aren't you? Discretion means clarity. It means critical thinking. It's different layers. From critical thinking, then what do you do? You, you practice. Practice. Practicing gives you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And then from there, if you teach your truths, teach your truths. Okay, then, then you will feel bliss from right here. Teaching your truths to others is, is like a miracle when you can actually help someone else find less confusion in their body or their mind. And there's many bodies, remember. There's the emotional body, the mental body, the physical body, the invisible body, the ethereal body. And yes, it is. That body controls most of the other bodies. And there is also a parasite body. Oh yes, there is. And again, you don't want to kill your parasites. They're your creatures, they're your children. They were born inside of you and they've taken some of your DNA and they're on cloak because they're part you. So that's why you don't kill anything in terrain modification. I used to kill everything when I was a hunter. I killed, tried killing my parasites and all it did was make me severely sick, mentally sick too, because I was killing parts of myself, not smart. Again, this is 35 years of research to be able to practice and try almost everything, all diets, every one, and see which one is optimal. See which one will not just advance my physicality, but will advance my, my mental capabilities, will advance my consciousness, my awareness, and advance my love molecule that is the ecstasy anointment that we all can produce in our pharmaceutical warehouse called the Holy Land. The body will produce the aphrodisiac of the self. Learn to have self-responsibility and love yourself and you will have the first step in the thousand mile journey. The thousand mile journey of evolution. Which the ultimate part of the journey is to gain awareness to become more human. Does that make sense? To become more human. To become less destructive. To become more creative and constructive from destructive. Okay, and these are opposites of what we're told and taught. I want you to really revision 
everything if you can. Remember, knowledge is power, and a lot of people are questioning the authorities' stories on everything that you could imagine. There are hundreds of videos. Again, you need discretion. Hundreds of videos out there for you to be able to see the truth so you can help yourself navigate. And if you say you're not confused right now, well, that just means that your program and your spell is so hard, hardwired. Okay, you should be confused. You bet you you should be confused with all the wars, the famine, the death, the misery, okay, the rape, the criminality, the scarcity, okay, on a planet, the green planet, that is supposed to be the heart chakra, the heart plane, which is the love plane, as Cat Stevens used to sing, the love train, okay, he was thrown out of the United States for what, speaking the truth, speaking the truth, as many other historians and what I call great people have spoken some of their truth, but the system wasn't ready to grasp their pioneering truth. All I can say right now is there's so many players that, that really see the truths that we as a species need to change our ways. And the only way we can change our ways, as Albert Einstein says, okay, you want to change the planet, then you have to change the consciousness, the awareness that let us get to the point that we've destroyed the planet in a hundred years. In a hundred years. Okay, remember we we stole most of the land, well, just a little while ago. The conquistadores and all the Europeans and everybody came over from the Mexicans and from the Indians on America, on the Americas, and killed millions of people. Wow, okay? And pushed them over to another religion and or religions. And in just a hundred years, we took that pristine, beautiful land and we made it in, as George Carlin would say, a giant shopping mall, a giant shopping mall. And all we do there is we play the materialism world. The materialism world is the world that is not real. We need to play the creative world. We need to play the world of, as they used to say, strength and honor. That used to be the way, strength and honor. But now it's strength, honor, and love. You put those, those three things together, strength and honor and love, and what do you got? You've got yourself, again, the anointment of the ecstasy drug that our bodies can make when we're in alignment, when we're in attunement. Okay, so find your purpose. But again, I would encourage you to learn terrain modification protocols. I would encourage you to learn the ketogenic diet system. I would encourage you to learn intermittent fasting. I would encourage you to look into a lot of the navigational areas like your food, where it comes from looking into parasites, looking into the truth about cancer, beautiful video series, documentary series, hundreds of them that we all need to see. And once we do, what do we do? We navigate, share with your friends something that can help them become less confused. What a beautiful thing to help your friends become less confused. That means they're gonna to have to learn about fluoride. And that means they're gonna to have to learn about chlorine and dirty water supply. It means they're gonna to have to learn about possibly maybe gardening. Why? It's because the only way for us to become grounded back to the planet is to produce the miracle of life, which is food. And to take, take care of the animals that we've been so blessed to be our companions. The birds, the bees, the whales, the snails, everything and everything on the planet. Once we change our body's cleanliness and we remineralize our body so we can be conducted back to the plasma, to the sun, then we get connected back to the earth. And we can look back at ourselves and say, as I can look back at myself, I was a bloody moron at 20 years old. And at 30 years old, I look back and I was even more of a moron because I thought I knew more. And when I was 40 years old, I said, well, maybe I'm sort of a moron because the more I know, 
well, I'm sort of confused now. And as you get into the 50 year range, you start to find out if you're growing is because the more you know, the less you know. And when you feel that you know a lot, that means that you're probably still in the 20 or 30 year growth conscious cycle of, of yourself. Remember, you still think that you know a lot. As you grow, the more you know, the less you know. And once you find that out, the ones that you feel, that actually feel that they think they know so much and they're so firm on what they know, and they're not really wanting to look at other realities and or other ideas, disciplines, or concepts, that means that we know that they're totally in a box under the spell. And we'll talk about lots of videos about the parasitic spell, the demonic possession that almost all of us had. Oh, you bet you I had possession before. Demonic parasitic possession of my physical body, of my emotional body, of my mental body, and my, my invisible body, which is, well, that's the most important body. And since it's invisible, guess what, guys? You don't even know it exists. The yogis call it the subtle body. All I'm trying to do is inspire you to engage, to step up to the next plate. Again, I really, really take my hat off to people that engage. Engage to want to have self-responsibility to take care of themselves. We are being transhumanized at this time. It is your choice in many areas, okay, to either be turned into an androgynous species Okay? Androgynous. The males lose their masculinism, their protect and serve energy, and they become more feminine, as you can see everywhere. And the women that have this beautiful divine love energy, the caring, the nourishing, the loving energy, they're getting that taken away, and they're actually becoming what? Masculinized. And what are you doing? You're meeting right in the middle. It's called transgender. Transgender. It's, it's making the genders autonomous with one another okay to bring together the species is actually in many ways a good thing especially if the species is so out of control is so out of control it is up to you to choose what you want you want group responsibility group that means that most likely if you want to become that androgynous species that means the group will be connected in a what I call an artificial intelligent hive. And of course, I don't see it as bad. I don't. I see it as bringing some insanity, okay, out of the out of the picture, some of the possessions out of the picture because the group now maybe will move in one, one specific way instead of all over the place because of just dysfunction like you can't believe. Remember, dysfunction cannot see dysfunction. If you see there's no dysfunction in the system, it's only because you're right in the fish pond of dysfunction. Once you see the dysfunction, that means some of your sanity will come back when you start to see the insanity. It just is. You do have choices, though. And one of the big choices that I made is to have self-responsibility. And once I gave myself self-responsibility, and once I found out that this truth, truth, that I've healed myself in many ways, again, physically, mentally, emotionally, then it's my moral responsibility, my moral compass has been turned on. My my love molecule has been turned on to share. You must share your transformation, how you did it. It may be different than everybody else's. It doesn't matter. You're not here to copy every, everybody's books. But what you're wanting to do is take the information and connect the dots yourself, be the experiment, be the researcher, be the, the creator of, your, of your, 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 your statue, okay, of your sculpture. And then be, of course, the producer, director, and the star of your film now, starring you, directed by you, and funded, produced by you. Wow. Okay, that's called taking back your power. That's called actually maybe being born again, and you didn't even have to go to church. Your body is your church, remember. It is your holy land, so the only thing you can do to be born again, okay, is really to have your self-responsibility to, to give yourself... Okay, a, a new life is to clean the body, 
reset the mind. There are different protocols to be able to do these different protocols and everybody's on a different layer. And as long as you engage, no matter what layer you're at, okay, again, look at the girls that lost 100 pounds. They engaged, they engaged. They didn't do it all, they did some of it. And look what happened, they stayed on the program. All I did was give them inspiration. They did what they did. They, they followed what they felt made sense. And it's not just me, of course. It's the guidance that you get based upon others that have already done this. Remember, I'm not telling you anything. I've done everything, everything that I'm showing you myself. And not only that, showed all these protocols, practices, and principles to patients. Hundreds of thousands of different people around the world, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and they've done it on their own. Again, taking some of the information, having discretion, okay, putting it in line, practicing, getting knowledge, and then sharing the wisdom. That grows you, and you'll see that is part of your resurrection is to be able to give you back your sanity, and part of the sanity is to be not a destructive being. Not a destructive being on anything. Okay, engage, I love everybody. And all I can tell you is I love the testimonials that you send me, people. I really do. It makes me feel so... The ecstasy feeling, remember, is not just from me. It comes from other people that I've given them inspiration so they want to be able to feel more human, want to be able to feel more authentic, more complete, just more of a naturalistic, real being. What a better feeling. Okay, remember, don't look at yourself as a parasite, but then again, in time, that you will. Remember, what are you doing for the planet? What are you doing for anything on the planet to be able to <clears throat> help it evolve? Taking care of animals, making a garden, just being nice to your neighbor, taking care of children, teaching children, being nice to people at work, just being able to show the care, but then again, don't be submissive, because also show the power with love. That's the game. To intersect power and love will give you back your sanity. So take the power back in your mind. Activate, okay, the body so it can get its power back, conductivity. And activate the heart so you could actually do the right thing. Because it's coming from your heart. Well, all I can say is give it a try. I don't know what else to say. If you don't activate yourself, I'm just the messenger, guys. I'm sorry I'm not an actor. I'm sorry I'm not really sometimes as organized as I should. Okay, I'm only I'm only thinking, okay, what I say, not not looking at a script or anything else. It's just coming out of my heart. And I do jump around because the system is very beautifully big. And we need to see all of it. Or at least as much as we can handle. As much as we can handle. Okay, again, love everybody. Okay, hello. Important reminder, all information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do not recommend the use of mineral deficient foods, drugs, or medicines to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information 
are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein.